We just picked up a new rare fish for the nano reef tank. Let's go someplace we can lay low. Throw your cares in the ocean breeze. Come away with me in this summer dream. Found this new spot. Boop. All right, we got a lot to see here, ladies and gentlemen. Some nice tanks right at the entrance. All the dry goods. They got a lot of tanks and stuff, all different sizes. This is the tank that I'm trying to get for the freshwater setup. So it would be, it's literally like this exact tank. So then you got waterfall and stuff happening in the back here. And then you have little fishies here at the bottom half. This would be nice for like little shrimp. Look, they got the Buddha in here. That was my initial plan in my tank, the Buddha, but it doesn't fit with the floating rock. It's a nice looking beta fish. Oh look, they're being quarantined. Look at the lips on this one. <laughs> Look at that pokey guy back there. I'm pretty sure that that's a brittle starfish. I could be wrong, because I've never seen one before, but it is spiky. There's another one right here. Look at the, yeah. Green, brittle starfish. Those things, look at the, look at the spikes. Hello. Nom, 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 nom. Goldfish, classic. Hey, I like that sign. These little guys are cool. It's like a little miniature greenhouse. Change of plans, guys. They are still setting up their saltwater coral section, so I made an executive decision that we're gonna go back once they're fully set up. So in the meantime, I brought you guys to another coral store so we can check out some corals. We've actually been here before. I think you guys, have, if you've been on the channel for a while, you've seen this store already. Um, but I have not been back literally since then. Didn't forget these guys today. Woo! Nice overgrown corals. 30 bucks, that's not bad. That is like fully encrusted onto the rack. I guess, uh... Not too, ooh, that, that's pretty sick right there. See it right there with like the baby blue inside? Where is baby blue? Right, the green with the, it looks like baby blue, no? It's white, you have that in your face. I didn't even notice there's tanks down here. I feel like the same thing happened to me the first time. I've been here and I still forgot that there were tanks down here. Dang, look how big those clownfish are. Huge, humongous clownfish. Oh, okay, she doesn't want to be in it, but Ma came with me today to keep me company. I wasn't planning to buy anything. Um, just because I don't feel like acclimating, but you know how that goes. So we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. But in the meantime, uh, don't forget. This month, we're going to be giving away one of these three gallon nano tanks to one of you guys. Entering the giveaway is free and easy. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below. The giveaway entry window will close January 31st, and the winner will be announced on February 3rd. Now back to your scheduled program. Another carpet in them. That one's pretty big, but it's not as big as the one we saw last time. Wow, look at this one. I think this is called, uh, I've been wanting this. My coral plug has this and uh, I just haven't gotten it yet. I gotta get a frag of that next. It's nice, right? Look at this thing, it's got like a bullseye in the middle. They got some big colonies in here. I can't remember, that's called the something. Look at that starfish too. You see it? Red tips. Wow, that's cool. Some more quarries over here. We gotta explore these, but I have no more space in the sand bed, so I don't know where we're gonna put it. Look at this, basket full of nems. That one's like crazy right there. I really love this double, uh, double setup, such a vibe. All right, we got all the fish. My mom yeah, wants this emperor. Like they need a really big tank, but 130 bucks. Oh, okay. you can't get him either? No, I need a big tank. Big, big wow, tank. It's really pretty. Oh. I could be wrong, but I think they, they might, I don't know if they're aggressive. Look, another eel. <laughs> Look at the mouth on it. Oh, he's, he's, ready to, he's ready to pounce. He's just swimming with his mouth open, waiting to eat something. Oh, hi. Glad to come, come say hi to the camera. There's a little baby in here that would look really cool in the nano tank, but I don't know if that could go in the nano tank. That's a, um, it's called a elongate uh, dotty bag. So I'm trying to get something that like, He's is captive out. bred, so he's easy to take care of. And how is he with like corals? Pretty easy, he's not gonna do anything to corals. Yeah, he's eating pellets and throws the food right now. And I like that he yeah, stays out. Yeah, we've never seen one here this way. Let me tell you that. Yeah? All right, I might get him, I'm just gonna, do a quick little bit of research. I think I'm gonna get it, guys. I wasn't planning to get a fish, but I've been looking for a nano fish for a while for that tank now, and he's super tiny. Seems to be good. I've done some research briefly, brief research. It's supposed to be good for nano tanks. Um, shouldn't be too aggressive. He's out and active. I don't know. He's pretty cool, though. The clown goby does not come out at all. And look at this guy. He's just. He's just living life. This is what I want to see, you know? 
All right, we're gonna do it. You're coming home with me today. Get in a new fish. Dang it, I didn't want to acclimate. I'm actually kind of excited though. I, I've never seen that fish before. Look at this dolphin fish. Look at the nose, look at the snout on that thing. A green bird wrasse. Whoa. Oh, that was, that was easy. You got him. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Hey. No. We're not doing any reptiles on this channel. This thing probably gets humongous. Look, those are those fish that you like over there. Over there. This gets... I don't like those. These. <laughs> these. these are, that's the same type of fish you were pointing to over there. It's a, it's a different color, but it's the same type of fish. Okay, mom. It's not the same fish. Oh, no. This brings back bad memories. Nice little Euphelia garden going, though. This is the mist we're gonna be setting up soon. I said this last time, it's been like a year and a half, but now I'm serious. So uh, this was an unexpected turn of events for today. Sorry, you guys might hear some motorbikes going on outside right now. It's the dank neighborhood kids. That's how you know you're getting old. That used to be you. But now you're like, can you please keep it down out there? Like, I'm, I'm trying to do some stuff in here and all I hear is a bike zooming back and forth. There he goes again. Let's see. Too much water. Dang it. No, I think we're, I think we're all right. Look at how tiny he is. I don't know how it appears on camera, but he's literally like an inch big. He's super tiny. And meanwhile, I have not seen the other fish in here. Like, I know he's in here, because he hasn't died. Um, but uh, he just hides like way back in the bottom of the, uh, the, the rocks. And yeah, he just doesn't come out. He just perches in there. Tank is really dirty, so I'm gonna have to clean the glass so you guys can see him, but uh, Look at, he's just out there adventuring. Like, what am I about to get into right now? I just saw the green clown goby peek out from this corner. Like, who is this dude in my house right now? Also, cotton candy's not doing good. I thought they were kind of like lower light. Everything else is doing really good. Uh, for some reason, those just don't like it in here. Started to add just a little bit of my tank water to the bag. I usually just like to do a couple a couple turns of that. Our guy has came out of the rock work. He's chilling underneath this humongous A-can right now. I hope that they are friends. That they get along. I almost forgot that my goby jumped out last time. I just like, I just saw him like swimming up to the top. And I did a little rig to, to kind of minimize the amount of open area there was for him to jump out. You almost got me, my guy. This dotty back is apparently less aggressive than other dotty backs. It's an aura elongated dotty back, which is supposedly a rare breed. And it is a captive bred fish. I feel like uh, he's ready to go in. What do you guys think? Yes. We got him. Wow, look at this great big world you got. Let's flip this guy around before something bad happens. Uh-oh, uh-oh, he's, he's entering the chamber. He is deep in the cave right now with our boy Houdini. So far, nothing crazy's happening. Scoping stuff out. Boop, boop, there's a little head popping out. They are reef safe, supposedly, so you better not be picking at my corals. Oh. Got some action on the right over here. Uh-oh. You guys see our boy Houdini here? And our boy over here. We need, we need a name for this guy. Drop some names. What should we call our new elongated dotty back? I thought the dotty back was going to attack the goat. Oh, he just spit something out. What are you What are you doing over there? It's the most action I've seen from Houdini since we put him in and he jumped out of the tank. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They're in the same hole. Please coexist. Please coexist. Oh my god, they're so cute. Guys, this is good. They're getting along. They're chilling right next to each other. Two peas in a pod. But don't put your ass in his face. He's not going to like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The anticipation. I think we're good. Yeah, look. He just went out there. We're chilling. Yes. Our boy Houdini has a friend now. I'm excited. I thought they were going to be a little, uh, a little bickering. But they just popped up in the same crib together and just like hung out, sat on the same couch. This is good. Maybe uh, maybe we'll make our boy Houdini come out a little bit more. He found one of the holes on the bottom of the floating rock and made it down. <sighs> He's so cool. He, he like kind of swims in like, oh, like little motions. Almost like if he's a computer game. Like... Houdini was good, man. You got a new friend. Yes, look how cool that fish is. Heck yeah, dude. 
I'm excited. There's also a ton of Kopi Pod in this tank, so he'll be he'll be chilling. <laughs> Very interesting swim he's got going. Jeez, that cotton candy looks terrible. They seem to be getting along well, only time will tell. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. Let's go someplace we can live.